The physician should read the IFU and watch this video before using the syringe. Before the demo, we would like to explain the mechanism first. Epifate is an indicating syringe comprised of a piston rubber, shaft color ring, spring, plunger, and fixator. Similar to conventional syringes, it can be filled by pulling the plunger. In the demo, we used a blocker to close the syringe opening to simulate when the needle tip has yet to reach the epidural space. By pushing the plunger, the spring is compressed and pressure is increased. Don't forget to at least cover the color ring. The more you push, the higher the pressure. The fixator fixes the plunger in position. With the fixator and spring's force, continuous LOR detection is achieved without constantly pushing the plunger. During LOR, balance between spring force and pressure is neutralized. The piston rubber will move forward, revealing the collar ring. After understanding its principle, we can move on to the next part. According to use indication, the syringe is intended for use with an epidural needle for detecting loss of resistance, which aids users in verifying needle tip placement in the epidural space. The device is based on LOR technique, thus it can only be used on applicable patients. Inspect package every time before use and do not reuse or re-sterilize the product. In addition, check the expiration date every time prior to use. Now, let us begin the first step, a function test. Fill the syringe by pulling the plunger. After filling the syringe, use one hand to cover the exit port. Use another hand to push the plunger until coloring is hidden. Do not hold the plunger after pushing. Keep the exit port closed. The coloring should remain hidden as this indicates there is no leakage on the rubber piston seal. Fixator function is normal. Now, release the exit port. The rubber piston should move forward quickly. Do not use the syringe if failed any step. After function test is completed, fill the syringe by withdrawing the plunger. Epifate is compatible with both air and saline. Please match your preferred sensing medium with patient's characteristics. After filling the syringe, proceed to step 3. Before attaching the syringe, insert the needle through the tissue until it is situated in the appropriate region. Example, ligamentum flavum. Remove stylet and attach filled syringe to needle. Push plunger to increase pressure. Cover collar ring. Note, the harder you push, the higher the pressure. If the collar ring cannot be covered after pushing the plunger, check needle tip position. Advance the needle. The fixator frees the user from having to hold the plunger during advancement. Using both hands to control the needle is recommended. Stop needle advancement if rubber piston moves forward or coloring appears, as loss of resistance has occurred.
With OLR technique, the warning signal will only indicate that the needle tip has entered a void or if the system is open. Ensure needle tip location even if the warning signal appears. Insert catheter to reaffirm location. What if needle redirection is required? Sometimes, advancement may be obstructed by bones and additional attempts may be required. Simply pull back the plunger to reduce pressure before redirecting or withdrawing the needle. Push plunger again to restart pressure sensing. Epiphate is easy to use even if redirection is required. The final part covers recommended steps in case of false positive. Similar to all LR devices, the syringe detects pressure changes. Should the tip enter a void or a low resistance region, the user will receive indication. Push plunger again until signal appears. If body cavity is large enough, the collar ring should not be covered. The rubber piston will simultaneously move forward when plunger is pushed. Insert catheter for final confirmation. Thank you for watching, and we hope you enjoy everything that Epifaith has to offer.